Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3 Game of the Year Edition. This is your host, as always, on this channel, we and Neil. I don't know why I'm being, uh, lackadaisical. Is that even the right word? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, anyways. So I was hacking this computer. I was going to cut this out, but I decided not to because I decided, hey, I'm just going to guess it. And there'd be no point in cutting out, like, a literally 10 second, 20 second, maybe, clip of me hacking a computer. But anyways, I run a maintenance sequence, and the robot comes to life, but I have no idea what the hell it does. Like, it literally does nothing. At least I don't think. I'm about to die here, but... Uh, judging by my HP, I'm about to die. So here you have a, uh, a river of Nuka-Cola, and it raises your radiation slowly, and of course there's Nuka-Lurks down here that are going to be uh, problematic for you. This is still post-commentated, so don't worry. I'll try not to spoil anything for you that's happening or going to happen. I know I said we're going to die here pretty soon, but... That's not exactly a spoiler. Because <laughs> it just happened. But either way, I die for good reason. And I learned my lesson. And now I have to kill all these things again. And I have to rehack this computer over here. Which is annoying, but hey, if if I don't start learning the hard way, how will I ever know? And even then, I get it right on the first try right there, so. <laughs> No harm, no foul. So, I have no idea where where I'm going to split this episode. Because it's like 45 minutes. Um, I don't know, I guess I'll split it like a 22 minute mark. You guys can get a extra long, super slender sex episode of Fallout 3 today. I keep jiggling my headphones, man. And that sounds way more dirty than I intended to. So nuclerks are just as much as a bitch fit as dealing with the uh, the big Myrlurks are. We actually get pretty nice experience for how easy we take them down. But then again, we are using a pretty overpowered weapon at this point. And we'll be getting even more overpowered stuff. And I still haven't healed myself, which is bugging the shit out of me. I don't know why. I guess I couldn't hear the heartbeat sound when I was recording this. But even then, we have a crash right there, so... That sucks. And I still haven't healed! Holy crap! I don't even think I can spoil anything more for you guys in this, because I don't even remember what happens. Maybe I die again. I'm not sure. I sure as shit hope not. I sure as shit hope I... Watch my ass. Damn. I went this long. Oh, and I even jumped down something. Oh, and then jumping down I realized. Okay. Well, that was exciting for about a minute and a half, and then it sort of lost its pizzazz. So that sucks. Oh, well. I think right here I was trying to figure out where the fuck I go. Because this place is more confusing than you might think it is. And there is a hamper falling on me, which, you know, that's always fun. Sorry if I sound weird, it's actually really late at night. Well, it's not too late, but it's, eh, it's sort of late. If you're watching this, expect a vlog tomorrow. I will definitely be vlogging tomorrow because I also have to go out and buy a few things. So I will definitely be doing that tomorrow, and you guys can look forward to that. I don't know if you look forward to my vlogs or not. Depends on who you are. Dog meat doing his gravity push-ups again. So these are rad roaches, and for some god-awful reason, I decided to waste plasma ammo on them. Oh my word. Got major amounts of lag right there for a few moments. Then again, I think you guys can see that, because I think it was part of the video. Not a part of the video editor. So, yeah. How's it going, guys? I use vats here, and it fails horribly. But at the same time, works 
successfully. Once again, trying to predict my actions before they even happen. Turns out I'm not as predictable as I thought I was. I'm still pretty predictable, but you, you get what I mean. I guess I could talk about some future prospects here on this channel. Um, well, oh, I lost an entire episode of Diablo 3. Yeah, that's going to be a bitch to salvage. I don't even think I will be able to salvage it. And what sucks worse is that, um, is that I guess what I'm going to have to do is replay that act and get up to that point again. And that is not something I'm looking forward to because I really hate it when I lose episodes of LPs. But it's entirely my fault. It's my fault for deleting it off my computer before checking if it actually uploaded or if I was just being an idiot. So, that really sucks. I completely forgot about that. And whenever I do remember it, it always makes me depressed. I'm like, son of a bitch. Don't you just hate thoughts like that? That when you... You know they're in the back of your mind, and you're just having a good day. You're just going along your merry way, and boom, you suddenly think of it, and it can just fuck you over for like a good hour, because then you're like, son of a bitch, what am I going to do about that? Or like that feeling when you're just sitting around, and you're like, there's some unresolved issue in my life, but I can't think what it is right now. I get that a lot. That robot just yelled at me, like, try Nuka-Cola. I think the reason why I wasn't healing earlier was because when I originally recorded this, I had the uh, Zack and Me audio, which was really unfunny and really boring. But, um, I think uh, what happened was, um, well, we, uh, we didn't have the headphones on. Like, I didn't have game audio. All I could do was just talk. I just decided, okay, well, I'll just go through without having to hear anything that's going on. And that, I guess, is the reason why I'm, like, being surprised at some things that are happening audio-wise. I don't even know if this is good commentary or not. You guys are probably bored out of your mind. Then again, maybe you're like me and you watch people's LPs to, uh, to see them achieve something in a game, or to root them on, or, or as I commonly do, I, uh, I'll listen to someone's LPs when I'm, uh, going to bed, because, I don't know, for some odd reason I just can't sleep unless I have the sound of something, or someone talking. That's why I listen to a lot of podcasts when I fall asleep, I listen to a lot of people's LPs when I fall asleep, uh, just tons of stuff. But for some odd reason, I can't fall asleep while listening to music. That doesn't sit well with me. I guess because I'm too into music. So this terminal is basically your key to getting, um, well, a lot of Nuka-Cola Quantum. I think I cut this one really fucking close. I guess three answers, and I have one left, and there's only, I think, two or three answers left, and I'm like, well, fuck. And I guess the right one, and obviously we get through this. But I, I didn't know what the hell to do right here. I was trying to think, okay, well, what do I do? <laughs> and what does it do? Because I didn't know at the time. So I think, yeah, you load the belt, then you load quantum and you activate it and then it says conveyor jammed so you can't do it again and that activates conveyor belts when we go back outside we will have a wonderful surprise oh my goodness three th three free Nuka-Cola Quantums I don't know if I checked the other side or not if I didn't then you might actually get six out of this <laughs> and I was just being an idiot but anyways, I think that's the last of the Nuka-Cola Quantums we need. If not, then I think I need like one more, maybe. 
I think I have 26 turned into a lady. I'm not sure because she just gives you subtle hints at how much you need. Like I turned into her and she was like, you have over 25, then you'll turn in like three more. She's like, you have over 25. It's like, dude, just give me a number, goddammit. What a bitch. So there I go running by the other conveyor belt. I didn't even look at it to see if there's more quantum there. I hope not. Because that... That sucked. Let me tell you. Or this sucked when I, you know, had to do it. I wasn't exactly happy at the time. It was actually really late when I originally recorded this as well. So that's, uh, slightly ironic. Anyways, we're back in Gerd or Shade. Whenever I say Gerd or Shade, I have to say it in, like, you know, the Skyrim accent. And I don't want to go into that ass clown's house, so I decided to leave and go to the other person's house. You know, the bitch fit, not the ass clown. Because they're the only two people who live in Gerd or Shade. And I'm like, wake up! Because I'm prone to cla crashing, and she is fleeing. And uh, oh my good god. I do remember this. I was like, what the hell is she fleeing for? Did I, like, offend her? And nope, it's just a sentry bot followed me here. Which is really weird. And I've literally never seen that happen before. And so we turn into quantums. My machine's almost full, you know. Get me to 30. See, I turned in three and she's like, you got over 25. But she said that last time. So I'm like, ah! So I decide, well, fuck it. You know, we have to go out there. And I did my math in my head and I d did my calculus and everything right. And I was like, well, judging from what she said both times I've turned in stuff and how much I've been turning in, we have one quantum left that we need. And so right here, I was just basically looking at the world map. I was like, where could I possibly go where there's going to be some quantum? And I didn't even pick up the shipping manifest, nor find any of them. So I guess hoopla to that. But I, I forgot where I find one, but I was just literally just looking for it. Looking for anywhere that I was just thinking... Okay, maybe there's one there, maybe there's one there. I'll eventually just say, you know what? Kiss my ass. I settle on some place, but I don't remember where. What is it called in uh, Fallout New Vegas? Because in New Vegas, uh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. Sunset Sarsaparilla. That's the name of the Nuka Cola in uh, New Vegas. New Vegas. That's another thing. Whenever I say New Vegas, I have to say it in a Christopher Walken accent. New Vegas. Uh, if you don't watch the uh, the walking throughs on uh, you, on them YouTubes, go watch those. Especially the Fallout New Vegas one. <laughs> It is fucking hysterical. So I come out of here and I'm like, whoa, because there's like 20 million rad scorpions attacking me. They're like over the hills and in my butt and just everywhere. Up at the camp I was at, I had to deal with a scorpion. There was actually one on the wall uh, above my bed one night. And uh, we are deciding how to get rid of him. And I named him Charlie, but uh, tragic tale. In the end, turns out he was stabbed and smashed with a hammer. But, uh... Lo and behold! We never did find the body, so I'm guessing Charlie is somewhere out there with an intense stab wound. And quite a few broken, uh... Scorpions don't have bones. I'm guessing, uh, ligaments? Or, uh... Or, uh, the Adams family? Maybe not. And this, my friends, is a drive-in theater. I actually have a drive-in theater in the new town I just moved to. Apparently. Not that I've seen it or gone to it, but... It's there. Don't worry. <laughs> it is definitely there, and... I'm sure they're showing some shitty movie there right now. Ever since I moved to my new town, which I still haven't said the name of, Ever since I moved here, I've been, I've literally moved, um, not exactly far from my friends, 
but uh, I've definitely moved to what can be considered to us far because of our options for mode of transportation. If you kids didn't already guess or get the hint from previous episodes, especially from Banjo uh, Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, basically I don't have my driver's license yet, and I am 18. But, uh, I know, crazy, right? I haven't even started the permit process, but that's because um, I have to pay for it myself, and I just, I have my bike, man, I get around on that son of a bitch, and when I get a job, I literally have zero to no expenses. And it's, it's awesome, because I don't have to spend a bunch of money on gas, but I know that one of these days I'm going to have to just go out there and get my license. Don't know when. But I will. But because of that, because none of us, well, one of us drives, but it doesn't like to spend gas. But um, because none of us really drive, um, basically we don't really have a way of seeing each other anymore. And ever since that happened, I've been finding myself uh, with a lot less to do. And where was I going to go with this? I, I initially started the story with intentions. But I have quickly lost them, and I'm not sure what I'm saying anymore. I haven't even been talking about the game. I just blooped some super mutants, that's all I know. Some super mutants, ugh. If I say Perry pickled a pied pepper of pickles, pickle, does that bug anyone? When I say puh, I'm going to make the puh noise, does that bug anyone? Or my S's. We'll have no fears. Also, my new microphone is going to be, uh... It's not directly linked into a, uh, into a sound source. So, um... Basically, what, uh... That's going to alleviate the problem of, like... If you hear that little, like, uh... Feedback noise in the background... On a lot of my LPs... Um... Literally, that should be fixed from the new microphone I'm getting in about a week. Uh, but, yeah. I found this monorail laying down here, and I was like, that is so cool! And then I was like, dude! And this guy tried to kill me, but at the same time he didn't. He just did it when I got close to him. See, and he's like, that Enclave tech. And it's like, what, did the Enclave like own a monorail system? Were they the fucking Wayne family? I don't think so. So I decided to just sell a bunch of my shit to this asshole, even though he uh, he's quite generous about it. And he has a dog too, which is weird. I sell him all my drugs because Lord knows he probably needs it more than me. And like I said, I find little to no use of taking drugs in a Fallout game because of the uh, drawback effects that they have. Am I a psycho? Yeah, I'm a psycho. <laughs> I just imagine just one of those little psycho armband things just grows a face and it just starts singing that. My god. I honestly think I'm going crazy. Dog meat's going for a swim, sleeping on the job. And I was checking to see if his dog had any like cool name like Four Score at Temple of the Union, but his dog does not. His dog is lame, and is just named Scavenger's Dog. Scavenger's Dog to Dog. And the big bad dog. See, this is what happens when I record late at night. My commentary makes little to no sense, and I just go... I go ape. And I don't mean, like, ape as in, like, you know, going ape shit. I mean, like, ape as in, like, the old-ass song, Ape Call. You know, Ape Call, Doody Abba. Ape call. No one's ever heard that. I guess you have to be a child of the 60s to hear that. Much like myself. So I can't even read what I just discovered up there. All I know is I found a skeleton in a dress, and he's like, I'm a pretty lady! But he really isn't, because it's a skeleton, you know? It's like, there's nothing attractive about that, unless you're into that. And there's literally nothing here that I can remember. Oh, there's some there's some scavengers or some raiders. And they all just run in here with their mattresses hiding and I just obliterate them. Melt one to goo and blow the other two up. 
or blow one mostly up, the other one fully up, and the other guy turn to goo. <laughs> the goo. Yep, you know, the goo treatment. The giggler treatment, that is. I come in here and I wipe poo on the bottom of all their shoes while they're sleeping. They have no idea why. I was going to take some paint guns and I was like, fuck, what am I going to do with that? Paint a house or something? I don't think so. So I keep getting books that I'm keep on reading. Our skills keep improving. Even though like most of our skills are near 100, it seems... uh. It's because I haven't even started on the DLC yet, I think I'm going to be going into the DLC um, with almost 100 everything. And if not, I'm going to get 100 everything, like, part way through one of them. Or, like, at the end of, like, the second one or something. I don't know. And I find this, and I'm like, holy Toledo, a quantum... He holeala chingado, we no creo eso. And so I run around this fence, and I go over there, and I'm like, Son of a bitch. Because these nuka colas are bananas. My commentary has made no sense in the past five seconds, so ignore it. Just go back and mute five seconds, and then watch it, and then come back, and then, you know, unmute it, and yeah. You're good patriotic music and such for finishing the Nuka Cola quest. Nuka Cola quest. Why am I still running somewhere? What is wrong with me? I think that's the last one I need, is it not? Son of a bitch. Apparently I lied to myself. Anyways, I think that'll be all for today's episode of Fallout 3. I hope you enjoyed this slightly extra long episode. Sorry if you didn't. If you hate my longer style episodes and I'm truly sorry but uh, we'll stop here at this campground because it seems a little bit fitting you know it's right where I came back from <laughs> not really anyways see you next time thank you so much for watching ow fuck grenade in my face oh my god okay let, hold on let me deal with these assholes real quick bring it on you son of a bitch bring it okay problem alleviated uh, besides getting hit in the face with a grenade. What's up with you today? Oh, level up. Okay, we're gonna stop there. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. See you next time.